I don't know, it's been here for so long. I've actually, this is the first meadery I've ever been to. Oh, it's a lot of fun. It's a lot of fun. We've been coming for about six years when they were just down the road. Um, I love all the different flavors and the experiments that they do. It's a super inventive place. They got a lot of different flavors out there, a lot of different things to choose from, different styles of, of the mead and the cider and stuff. It's a, it's a lot of fun to come try different things. Yeah, they have so many different ones that they offer that there's something anybody can find that they like. Yeah, I'm not a huge fan of beer, so when you say you're coming to Bee Nectar, I've had a few of them. Now I've liked all of them so far, so I want to come down here and try a huge list of what they got here. It's nice to have a different option than beer. It's a nice place to hang out. They let you bring in your own food. There's lots of different events that they have. We enjoy coming to their festivals that they have quarterly because then we can really like sample all the different ones that they offer. You know, we've enjoyed bringing our, our family here and introducing them to mead. Carrie and I were in a homebrew club that really got into mead. We got to try a lot of really great meads that you know, I didn't even know that kind of stuff existed. And then when we lo went looking for it commercially, it was really hard to find. You know, I was looking for a job and drinking the mead, and I'm like, this is really good. Why don't we just sell this? He's like, yeah, all right. I'm like, okay, good, done. If we could sell like, 10 cases a month, man, that'd be kind of cool, you know? Like, and then I got laid off. Like, all right, we're gonna move to Silicon Valley and foreclose on the house where we're gonna go all in on the meadery. And she's like, yeah, let's do it. <laughs> it's a scary time when you're underfunded as a business in general and you're trying to develop a product that you just believe in, but there's really no evidence that it's gonna work. It takes a toll on relationships. You know, it takes a toll on your sanity. It takes a toll on the color of your hair. I think I was probably like the only one that from the get go, I had the idea of, I thought it was gonna be big. and. They thought it would be nights and weekends, and I'm like, yeah, we'll see. It was so crazy. We ended up getting uh, what is the like, top 100 brewers in the world. It was in like 2013, and then again in 2014, I think. And it was like no meadery was on that list. 